Hey everybody, today we're going to do a uh, Trio Henselt deck. Henselt decks are, like, the Trio version of it is actually really ridiculous. My usual opener is to play a Azura Adept into Henselt, which basically is a gold weather that thins your deck of six-something bronze cards. It's a two-card combo, it's extraordinarily devastating. Now, there are ways to counter it. If your opponent kills the Adept, and there are a lot of cards that do it. There's the Brokvar Art um, Hunter, and there's other removal cards like Lacerate. Now, there are a lot of cards that you don't want in your hand, like Vess or Roach. You'll often put them back into your deck with Neneke, buff them up with uh, Dandelion. Dandelion buffing up Roach gets you a 16-point swing card. This deck has a lot of power behind its goals. Uh, Karamets, I often... I almost always play her directly onto the Reaver Hunters uh, because it's hard to get them buffed up with the Kidani Sergeants. They're another way of getting a uh, trio onto the board that isn't uh, the Blue Stripes Commandos because the Blue Stripes Commandos will eventually be... Un it's hard to get them again as a trio. Now, they send a base copy back to your deck, meaning that once you use them up all, uh, you can't really pull that three strength uh, bronze unit again with the Quidani Sergeant. The Quidani Sergeants, the important thing to think about them is that they're pretty weak to score uh, Igni. To get a avoid that, you use Trollolo, who will uh, not only block the Igni, but he's very hard to remove himself because he's a 12... It takes 12 points of removal to get them. The Reaver Hunters are your backup, like I said before. Uh, Kira Met, uh, I mean, Margarita is there as a tech card against certain cards that you really need to lock, or if you need to unlock one of your cards. Death Mold, um, you should have as many mages as you can probably get in every deck. Uh, Northern Realms is the only faction that, right now that has two mages. Now, the mage will be your clear skies. You will expect some form of weather from your opponents right now, because weather's kind of like it's all or nothing. Um, you might want to play tech in a few of these uh, Blue Stripe Scouts. Blue Stripe Scouts, not only are they easy to get premium versions of, but they're a good tempo play. You play that against a clear um, a weather on your row, and you, you take a lot of damage from the bronze weathers. Bronze weathers are much more frustrating for this deck than any gold weather. Uh, so, the field medics in the deck are a little bit more... How should I put it? They allow you to play the uh, Blue Stripe Commandos or play your Quidani Sergeants again to pull the Blue Stripes Commandos that you put to the bottom of your deck if you use them early. Now, of course, doing that will off will reset the buffs on the sergeant, but that's not that bad. Y you can live. <laughs> uh, the sergeants will buff death mold, by the way, so that's also good because you're getting all that extra tempo. Another option for leaders is uh, full test, but I feel that if you're going to run this deck, you want to have a lot of deck thinning combined with. Um, the ability not to have all the bronze cards in your hand. Full Test struggles to get all the cards necessary to just pull off the combo, I feel. And I think that the Henselt into Azu Artuza Adept is just OP. Okay. So we're going to take this first into an AI match, and then we're going to take this into a casual game. So I've been getting a lot of the challenges out of the way. You can see that I'm almost completely done. Against the AI, uh, other than We've Harold, who's the Savage Bears. Of Kidwin, attack! Okay, the Savage Bears is the biggest counter to this deck because the uh, Savage Bear procs before the deployability, and since the Blue Stripes Commando need to be the same strength as the card that they're replacing. Oh, God. Gotta get these out of my hand. And I'll push out one of you. Okay. We've 
We've heard enough. Let's get to work. Forget what she does. You dwan. All right. Uh, I'm expecting weather here. Private check. Report on order. We're going to play. We're going to play this the a little slower than usual. Than the sword. So we're going to buff up Roach, Vess, and Reaver Hunter. I think that would be the best. You can notice that Roach gets the buff. This is really annoying. Um, we're going to put down what I use. Uh, we're going to play the uh, Tusa Adept, maybe? No, I'm gonna play us. Nice I want to get Vess out on the field as soon as possible. As you wish, my lady. Okay, we're going to weather this row. This will pull out Vess, who will now have. Oh, oops. Okay, I forgot that's how um, Milana works. So now we're going to one piece. finish Fight the weather. Oh, Lady Margarita told us of this. As you wish, my lady. Oh, I forgot. To, I should have put him on a different lane. Eh, it doesn't matter really too much. You can see that I got a lot of tempo out of that, and I covered his field with weather. Okay. So I'm going to push back the Blue Mountain Commando. And then I'm going to start off with Are the Nineke. Again. Now, normally, I would put both Roach and Vest back, but because I pulled the extra blues scout um, back into my deck, I don't want to. Okay, we're going to I killed for less. Start Semper doing this. Fi! Interesting. <laughs> Kaya! Okay, now we're going to push out the... Jacket. I killed for less. Nice mess you've got here. Okay, and he'll move over here. This thing jumps, which is really weird whenever I Joel! see it. Blasana! Okay. Um... As you command, your majesty. We're going to zap that. Now you can see that this is very vulnerable to uh, Igni. The nice thing about the uh, this is that it will bounce back to my side. Uh, and then we will what can I do for play you? this and lock you. And then we'll probably pass. Any last words? It'd be very hard for my opponent to catch up from this. Did he only do four damage? Oh. Oh, yeah, because he has that additional ability. Yeah, and we won. You can see that this deck has a lot of power behind it. Okay, and we're now going to go into a casual match. Boy! That was a pretty straightforward game. I didn't get as many golds in my hand as I usually play, but what are you going to do? <laughs> okay, we're up against a King Brand. King Brand's annoying because he has one removal. Piece. Fight for it. Okay. Okay, uh, we're going to push out the Torrential Rain. Push you out. And we'll push out this. Okay. We have Nineke in our hand, which is pretty good. Now, I would prefer having uh, Dandelion, but, you know, win some battles, lose some battles. Okay, uh, we're going to start off with the Artuza Adept. <sighs> Doubt I'll ever pay off these school loans. Because we're kind of expecting our opponent to have... Okay. That actually messes up most of my abilities. So we're going to pull this. What can I do for you? And lock it. We don't want 
getting us to get locked. Of course, friend. We opened on this, so we're kind of expecting our opponent to have certain cards. Uh, yeah, I wonder if he's gonna. Prius be the bravest. Yeah. Okay, at this point, we're going to now fill the board with weather. You're one piece, fight for it. This will thin our deck considerably. As you wish, my lady. Semper Fi! Semper Fi! Now we would pass, because there's no way our opponent's going to catch up under these circumstances. The bear is really annoying, but we can, we survived. <laughs> I think our opponent's kind of impressed. We've just effectively played a bronze weather. Okay. Okay, now we're going to... Uh, 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 da, da, da. Push out a field medic. Yay! We're going to start off with this. Are you wounded? Again. We we'll push back Vess and two of the Glue Stripe Commandos. Pansy, you're good, real good. We're now going to honored. protect. Truly. We're going to play a Quin sign on the Reaver Hunters. Now, if we pass here, we get card advantage. Uh, well, actually, we can just play Death Mold. Well then, let's get to work. Clear skies. This is why you play Death these. to the enemy! Yes, uh, that's actually gonna mess things up. We're probably going to send the... Um... Yeah, we're gonna have to... Um... Forgot that death mold pulls. Okay. Stand and fight. Thank you for boot putting that to four. Snitches get stitches. Okay. <laughs> Don't you pester me. Tell me you jest. <laughs> All right. That was actually better. I should have probably put the uh Give them no rest, no reprieve. This is no time to whimper. I'll do what I can. He only had one, so he must have several gold cards in his hand. Let's go. You notice that they did seven damage. I can do a great deal more. Yeah, than he's gonna. Why did you do it on that round? Whatever. You do not deserve to live. All right, and I think I've tempoed out my opponent Bow unless he has a uh, scorch. He should have played that savage bear as soon as possible. It's boring, just stands in here. The savage bear is a hard counter to this deck.
We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Okay, and we won. Take that. I did not know Deathmolt pulled, um, guys. <laughs> but he, he does have a deploy spawn out of thing. So we're going to send that guy a good game. And we're going to open some kegs and call it a day. Now, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I have to buy some. Ahoy, hoy! Or I'll buy one friend. keg because we only have gold for one keg. Ooh, we make smash smash. Uh, let's hope it's good. <laughs> nothing good uh, and nothing. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Lots of kegs. 